caught a nice big coal. Hayden's going to show you how to properly care for that fish. We got Tom over here just caught this beautiful silver salmon, so now we're going to take care of it. First step, remove the gills. And we're going to remove the guts as soon as possible to keep that meat nice and fresh. Then next we're going to remove the yeah. kidney to access the vertebrae to pressure bleed them. And remove all the blood out of the rib meat. And then you slice these vertebrae in the back. And then we're going to apply some pressure to that vertebrae and pressure bleed them so all the blood gets out of the salmon. Perfect, now there's no more blood in the salmon. Clean her on up. And in the ice bath she goes until she gets filleted in the fish room. I'm gonna show you guys how to properly care for a coho salmon. Pick the fish up by the head, especially with salmon, not to get a gaping in the flesh. If you hold it up by the tail, all that weight pulls away. I usually start with the belly towards me and the head on my left side. I'm right-handed, of course. So I'll start my first cut by holding the fin back, cutting towards the head at about a 45 degree angle, and then separating the collar. And once you cut to that backbone, it's just a matter of turning the knife and watch where it comes out on the other side here, and just sort of trace that line over the dorsal fin and all the way to the tail. Cutting through the ribs, there's gonna be a little bit of sawing motion, hopefully not too much, because it'll make it, the fillet look wavy. Holding the knife firmly and pressing against the backbone. Go with a real kind of smooth cut from the dorsal fin to the tail. A sharp knife really helps with that. And that should be a pretty clean fillet there. If you saw too much, you'll start to see wave, wavy cuts forming up in here. And if you turn the knife too far this way, you're gonna cut through the bones there or leave a bunch of meat on this side, as flat as you can possibly do it. On this side, find it easier if you can kind of start your cut, cutting towards yourself, leaving a little bit of space here so that you stay on top of it and you're not cutting through and having to do a bunch of cleanup. So start from the back, cut over the dorsal fin. Same thing here, disconnecting the collar and the head. Turn your knife. Lifting up a little bit on the head actually helps. And then same thing, all the way to the tail. You know, from here, you just do a little bit of cleanup. You know, clean up any fins that are left on there. Cut the pectoral. This one really helps to turn at an angle. I use my thumb to do that. And I'm really careful not to cut my thumb. Sometimes it helps to get it started by cutting the ribs up towards you carefully and then away. And you should be able to watch the knife through those ribs the whole way through. So from this point, we'll portion it into one to one and a half pound pieces. It really helps to keep your space clean too so things aren't sliding around on you. So again, cutting the pectoral fin away, turn the fillet away from you. Just nice, long, swooping cuts. One of the most important things is to not have it be too wavy. It'll look bad in the, in the packaging. You'll see a lot of people take this off. That's the, that's the fattiest, most high oil content part of the fish. So I would really like to leave bellies on there. Some people will cut it off clean. I would highly recommend trying it before you do that. So from this point, the fish is gonna get a very light rinse. It'll get bagged up into a five mil vacuum seal bag. They will run it in through the commercial plate freezer, which allows it to get down to temp very quickly. So you're gonna have the core totally frozen. Much better quality than just throwing it in a chest freezer. It's gonna make a difference. And then we can box it and send it to Juno. The seal quality of the vacuum bags will allow it to last in your freezer for a couple of years. And that's how we care for your fish at the Highliner Lodge.